Negotiations are underway between the United States and the Philippines to allow more American troops into the island nation. Filipino officials made the announcement on Monday. The Aquino government hopes the agreement, when finalized, will boost the country's defense capabilities. CCTV's Barnaby Lowe has details. It's been a banner month for the Philippine and U.S. militaries. Last week, President Benigno Aquino III welcomed the arrival of the Philippines' latest warship, BRP Ramon Alcaraz, a decommissioned U.S. Coast Guard cutter. On Monday, Philippine officials announced it would start talks with the United States on an increased rotational presence of American soldiers. Under existing agreements, the Philippines allows U.S. troops on its soil provided they're here on a temporary basis. In fact, some 600 American troops are stationed here at any given time of the year. But now both sides want another agreement that could give the United States broader military access to the country. That could mean both an increase in U.S. military personnel and a pre-positioning of U.S. military equipment. But Philippine officials say the Philippines stands to benefit as well, especially in the face of a territorial dispute with China. Our region would also need to know that we are steadfastly for peace, but that we stand ready to tap every resource, to call on every alliance, to do what is necessary in order to defend what is ours, to secure our nation, and to keep our people safe. But U.S. military presence remains controversial in the Philippines. Military drills are regularly greeted with protests even after the closure of U.S. bases more than 20 years ago. Now, critics warn the impending framework agreement could further escalate regional tensions. Involving the U.S. in any territorial dispute would likely exacerbate the problem, and it, it serves to provoke the other party, which is China. Whatever U.S. interests in the South China Sea, that's not identical to Philippine national interests. These were based... But it appears the agreement is already a done deal with Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario saying both sides have arrived at an understanding. Barnabilo CCTV, Manila.